This is a uh, pure notes where in unit nine logarithms. Um, we've been through the laws of logs and we're now just going to be using the laws of logs um, to do some examples here. So just a wee note, we commonly write log to base 10 of a as log a. If we don't see any base written in there, we would assume then it's going to be 10. Find x if log to the base 2 of 32 equals x. So we we'll just use what a log means. So log to the base 2 of 32 is x. That means... 2 to what power gives me 32, i.e. 2 to the power of x is 32. So that's just from our definition. Uh, and the answer to that then is x equals 5. Similarly then, for example, 2. Uh, log to the base 3 of 243 equals x. Just the same question really with different numbers. 3 to what power gives me 243? i.e. 3 to the power of x is 243. It doesn't take you too long. We have a calculator to check that out if you don't happen to know it. And we get x equals 5. Therefore, of course, log to the base 3 of 243 equals 5. Um, example 3, they're asking us to simplify. Simplify log to base a of 4 plus 2 log to base a of 3 minus log to base a of 6. So that's log to the base a of 4. And then using our third law of logs, that 2 can come up here. So that's the same as log to the base a of 3 squared minus log to base a of 6 that equals log to the base a of 4 times 9 so what have I done I've squared that 3 to get my 9 and then using the first law of logs 4 times 9 we have that take away log to the power of a is 6 second law of logs means if you're subtracting the 2 so it's log to the base a of 36 which is of course 4 times 9 over 6 and that gives us then log to the base a of 6 so if you were to pick up some number of, or a whatever you want or even don't put in the a it would be log base 10 let's take it all in it's just the same then as log 6 um, express log to the base a of x cubed uh, over y squared z in terms of log to the base a of that so let's start to separate these out that division means we can separate it out i guess and do a subtraction so that's the same as log to the base a of x cubed minus log to the base a of y squared z. Hope that makes sense. Uh, it's using our second law of logs backwards effectively. I can bring that 3 to the front and I can separate out my y squared and the z using the first law of logs. This is the third law of logs here. Log to the base a of x minus, and just be careful with this we minus, but we have log to the base a of y squared plus log to base a of z and then finally I'm going to bring that 2 to the front and effectively multiply through by minus so it's 3 log to base a of x minus 2 log to base a of y minus sorry log to base a of z um, use your calculator to find the following to 2 decimal places so if calculator on here and again hopefully you can see it it's hard to get the screen to come up that's okay there I think so if I go log 17 and it equals that gives me then 1.23 and as I said then that's the two um, decimal places so not too much really right there um, do one final example here again there's no base in there so we assume it's base 10 so we've log to the base 10x is equal to 
And we're just going to use our laws of logs here. Um, so I know the definition of what a log is. Again, if you're not sure, I would look back to my um, log to the base 10 of 1,000 equals 3 and see if you can kind of get your head around that. But that means 10 to what power gives me this? So it means 10 to the power 2.4 equals x and again we put that under our calculator 10 to the power of 2.4 and this gives me 251.19 if you can see that there okay 2.51 to 19 two decimal places 251.19 that's the two decimal places next video then we'll go on to kind of solve it index equations